Okay. So welcome back. So in this um, example, uh, what we're going to do is is an application. So I'm going to read it, and then we're going to go ahead and work it out. Okay. So uh, listen carefully. So it says a population of bacteria doubles every hour. If the culture started with 10 bacteria, graph the population as a function of time. So we start with, so for our example, we start with the uh, function y equals a naught e to the kt. And we're told that we start with 10 bacteria. So that's going to be the initial amount. So a naught equals 10. And we're told that it doubles every hour, right? Is there? Uh, yeah, doubles every hour. So, so the doubling time is. One hour. So now, how does how does this help us? Well, we know that every hour, and t is in hours, right? So t is going to be in hours. So every hour we have double. Okay. So we know that when t is one, well, when t is zero, we have ten, right? When t is 1, we're going to have 20. So what we need to find is we need to find the constant. We need to find this growth constant. So we're going to use that information. Okay? So how would, I, how would I approach this? Well, I'm going to... Now, here's the thing. I could use the formula that we saw before, right? Which was what? We had um, y equals... Now, again, I'm translating this into... What we're using so it'd be y equals what one half right oh no in this case it'd be two two to the uh, t over capital t where in this case t represents the doubling time okay um, which in this case would be one not so i could oh i'm sorry hold on yeah that's right that's right um, this would be, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm missing a naught. Okay? Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, it, yeah, that's right. So, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this and the information that says, okay, at t equals 0, I have 10, and then I know at t equals 1, I'm going to have double that amount, so that's 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that information to find k. Okay, so I know this is 10, and I know when um, t is 1, I'm going to have 20. So I'm going to write this as, so let me write this. So um, let me write this as a function of t, okay? So I know, so this doubling time tells me that y of 1 is going to equal what? 20. Okay? So I'm going to use this information. So I know when y is 1, I get 20. So this is going to be 20 equals 10 e to the k times 1. So now, guess what? All I have to do is solve for k. <clears throat> now watch what I get. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And I get 2 equals e to the k. And if I take the natural log of both sides, what happens? I get the natural log of 2 equals k. So now, I have a 
my final formula is going to be y of t equals 10 e to the natural log of 2 times t. Okay, now, how does it help me graph, uh, graph this? Well, I know um, that I can uh, change this, right? see here. Yeah, yeah, I could do the same thing I did before in the previous videos. So I'm going to write this as equals 10 and I'm going to break this apart and I'm going to write this as e to the natural log of 2 to the t power And this becomes 10. Well, look at this. This is going to cancel using the um, inverse property. I'm going to get 2 to the t. Hey! Okay, see? Now I can graph this thing. Because I know, based on the, the uh, characteristics, the uh, y-intercept is going to be 0, 10. I also know from previous classes, I know the other points that this is going to go through is it's going to go through 1, 20, right? See, because at one hour, this is going to double. So remember, the doubling time is every hour. So I know it's going to go through 120, 240, right? 380, you get the picture. So now, if I was to graph this thing, uh, by the way, knowing that the doubling time was one every hour and knowing the initial value um, would give me enough information to graph this thing, okay? But... Here's the model. Okay, so now, if I was to graph this thing, um, what would it look like? It's going to look like this, right? So I have a... Actually, let me do it this way. Because I don't need that much of the graph. Okay, so we have Okay, and so the graph is going to look something like this. I'm going to have 10, 20, and so it's going to look like this. Oops. Okay, and that's how the graph will look. Have a great day.